Hello everyone, welcome to you learn education online channel. In the previous video, we have seen what are the blocks involved in the transmitter circuit and also how the transmitters are classified. In brief, if you see what are the blocks involved in the transmitter or the main blocks that are involved in the transmitter are the information source and the second one is an audio amplifier, third one is an oscillator and fourth one is a modulator. So here that information source may be either a sound signal, an image signal or any type of signal. So in order to convert the physical form of signal to electrical form, we need a transducer. Here in this example, we have considered the microphone. Okay. Next, what the audio amplifier will do? It simply boost up or strength up the incoming weak signal. And here the oscillator is used in order to generate a high frequency signal. Those high frequency signal is used in order to perform the modulation. So, and the next one is a modulator. So, in this modulator, this superimpo this message signal is superimposed with the high frequency signal. First, suppose if you are using this modulator type as an AM circuit in order to generate an AM signal or in order to transmit an AM signal, then we are calling that transmitter as an AM transmitter. So finally, we can say that the transmitter circuit involves a modulator in that if the modulator is of type for the generation of AM signal, then we are calling that transmitter as an AM transmitter. Now let us see what are the blocks involved in an AM transmitter. So this is the block diagram of AM transmitter. Here, if you observe, several blocks are involved in order to transmit our information signal or a message signal through a wireless channel. Now the question is, how we can say that it is transmitting through a wireless channel? As we can, hear, we can see here, the block diagram uses an antenna. So it simply indicates that it is passing the signal through a wireless channel. Now let us see what is the purpose of each block that is presented here or used here. So the first block is the master oscillator. As we know that the oscillator will generate a sinusoidal signal with a constant frequency or different frequencies. But here in this case in order to perform the modulation, we need only a single constant high frequency. So the purpose of a master oscillator is to generate the required signal with a constant frequency up to a desired level. In irrespective of having a different variations of power supply voltages or also the temperature of a components that are used in the circuit. Okay, now let us see the next block that is a buffer amplifier or an isolating amplifier. So suppose if the buffer amplifier is not used, it means that the master oscillator signal is directly applied to the harmonic generator. Okay, what happens if the buffer amplifier is not used? Since the signal is directly applied to the harmonic generator, there may be a presence of loading problem present in either the master oscillator circuit or in the harmonic generator. So, such loading will directly result in the variation of effective resistance of the tank circuit of the oscillators that are used either in master oscillator and harmonic generator and hence it results in the variations of a frequency. So in order to eliminate that loading problem we are using the buffer amplifier. Here the buffer amplifier does not draw any current from the oscillator circuit therefore there is no changes will present in the carrier signal or I can say a constant high frequency signal if there is a problem in variations of power supply voltages or the temperature changes in the components of the circuit. So simply I can say that this power amplifier is used in order to avoid the loading problem or the variations in the loading is avoided by using the buffer amplifier circuit. Now let us see what is the third block. Here the third block used is an harmonic generator. Now what do you mean by the harmonic generator? This harmonic generator is also an, one of an oscillator circuit which will generate the harmonics of the high frequency signal that is generated by the master oscillator. Okay, harmonics are nothing but the sub multiples of a carrier frequency generated by the master oscillator. And the harmonics of 
the constant high frequency signal is directly applied to the class C power amplifier. Okay, now what the class C power amplifier will do? Here, in order to perform the modulation, we need only a single constant frequency. Okay, so here in this modulated amplifier, we are going to know about the carrier frequency range or the carrier signal frequency value. After knowing the carrier signal frequency value, what we have to do? We have to set that frequency in the class C power amplifier or we have to tune the circuit to that signal frequency. Now as we know that the input of a class C power amplifier uses a tuned circuit. Now what the tuned circuit will do? It simply selects the desired harmonic frequency and it uh, amplifies that harmonic selected harmonic frequency. Okay, so in the class C power amplifier at the input of class C power amplifier a tuned circuit will present and that tuned circuit will select a desired frequency and it will pass through the power amplifier portion. Now here the voltage generated by the master oscillator has usually a very small power which is of order few watts. So this power level is required to be rise to the final high value and also this can be done with the help of a class C power amplifier. So finally this class C power amplifier is used in order to select the particular desired constant frequency and also boost up the signal strength of the selected frequency. And uh, here this selected frequency with high power signal strength is directly applied to the modulated amplifier. Okay, now let us see what is the power amplifier that is used in the message signal. Here this information or a message signal will be generated from the information source and is directly passed through a transducer which will generate an electrical signal. As we know that the output of a transducer will be an electrical signal but is having a low strength. So in order to boost up that signal we are passing through that signal through multiple stages of amplifier and here we are passing that signal through audio amplifier now what the audio amplifier will do it simply boost up the signal strength of our incoming message signal thereafter it is passed through the modulating amplifier so here the modulating amplifier generally we are using is a class b push pull amplifier in order to generate high power signal as we know that the class b power amplifier advantage is the efficiency will be low but there is no distortion present in the signal generation so here in this type we have to use the class b power amplifier for the message signal why because we are passing the information through the antenna that information will be the message signal. So if you are using a class C or class D class of power amplifiers then there exists a chance of distortion that is present in the signal which means there is a loss of information in the message signal while transmitting. So in order to avoid this we are using a class B power amplifier in the message signal amplification purpose. Okay, now it is directly applied to the modulated amplifier. Now what is the circuit that are used in modulated amplifier? Here we have used a class C tuned amplifier circuit, usually a push pull type and here it is modulated by the audio modulating voltage from the modulating amplifier and the carrier frequency that is a constant high frequency signal from the output of a class C power amplifier. Okay, after uh, process of modulation, a high power modulated signal is passed through the transmitting antenna which will generate uh, radio waves and is used in order to transmit through the channel. So this is the block diagram of AM transmitter and the purposes of blocks that are used in generation of AM modulated signal with the high power. Now what is the drawback of this circuit. So as we as I said that this modulating amplifier is using a class B power amplifier of type push pull and also the advantage of class B is it will not 
distort the signal means no information loss will be present while amplification of the incoming signal but here in the modulated amplifier and in the class c power amplifier we are using a type class c okay as we know that the power amplifiers with the classification increase that is if the efficiency is more then there exists a lot of distortion in the circuit so here we are using a class c ideally the efficiency of a class c power amplifier is 100 percent okay but practically its value is around 80 to 90 percent which means that the efficiency is more which means there is a distortion will be present in the circuit so in order to avoid that uncapable distortion of message signal that is present at the output of a modulated amplifier we have to rechange this block diagram of am transmitter now what are the necessary steps that to be considered in order to avoid the distortion of message signal that is appeared in the modulated amplifier we can see in the next video thank you so much for watching our videos keep supporting our channel and please subscribe to our channel if you are having any doubts please provide that in the comment section thank you